Lines. Three, two, one, go! Launching into match number 35 of, I believe we're playing 48 matches today. The Red Alliance Team 1712 Dogma making their way out with a hatch, trying to get it connected. Oh, and just losing some cargo in the process. Cargo being fed for the Red Alliance right out onto the floor by the human player for $14.95. Leaving pretty of cargo spread out on that surface for the Red Alliance so the robots can come and gather it up and get it either into the Red Alliance rocket or deliver as they have been to the cargo ship. Just looking at 1495 Red Devils, that's exactly what they did. 1712 also approaching for the Red Alliance and delivering to the cargo ship as well. Good start for the Red Alliance. On over to the Blue Alliance side, we have Team 365, the Miracle Workers, on their way over to the loading zone, trying to capture and back away as they do with a hatch. Positronic Panthers for the Blue Lions, just missing and then chasing, chasing some cargo over there to pick it back up and deliver it back over as Mo365 also delivers cargo. Team 204, Eastern Robotic Vikings, making the way over to the Blue Alliance rocket, just missing with cargo as well. Advantage Red Alliance at this point with 50 seconds left in this match. Blue Alliance continues to work feverishly. Again, this match is all offense. There are no robots, no opposing robots either in any of the zones to disrupt play. And there we go, 30 seconds now left in this match. Mo making their way up, 365, already making their way up to the third tier, the third level of their habit zone. Looks like they're wiggling their way up there, wiggling slowly but surely to get firmly up onto the third tier. 204 also for the Blue Alliance getting up there. On the Red Alliance side, 1495. The Red Devils trying to get onto that second tier, moving forward. Let's see if they're able to plant themselves before we hit that end. And no, they're still hiked up. So we have two robots, two robots for the Red Alliance. And all three for the Blue Alliance have made it back to their habitat.
And here are the scores. And the Red Alliance takes that match with a score of 58 to 45. Unfortunately for the Blue Alliance, there were two yellow cards on the Miracle Workers. One was an S2 for passing over the guardrail and then a G16 for over height when they were making their way up onto the third tier.